So Hack Day is this event that we have developed in partnership with Ford to come up with really cool applications that take the data that is being output by a vehicle and then doing something cool with that data. So, so Ford has this uh, OpenXC data platform, which is basically a way to capture the data that the car is outputting all the time. The car is like loaded with these sensors. So there's everything from the, the steering wheel position to the, the speed of the car, to the temperature, whether or not the windshield wipers are going off and on. Ford has, in a really smart way, has said, let's just open this data, everybody, create an open source platform where people can take this data and do whatever they want with it. The people we invited to be at today's event was really about getting people with diverse types of skill sets, designers, developers, uh, some scientists even, and people who just really enjoy hacking and kind of taking things apart and mashing them up and seeing where they go. So really it's about having sort of an experimental sort of attitude uh, that sort of gets you on the invite list here. It's going great. It's a hackathon. What I thought was really cool was how Boing Boing and Ford had set up all of the hacker equipment. So all the toolboxes and stuff seemed so cool. Like so much opportunity and I wanted to know what was inside just as much as anybody else. So we got an Arduino starter pack, so they're, they're connecting our laptops to hardware. We have a Raspberry Pi single board Linux computer. We have a soldering kit, multimeter, super glue, LEDs, capacitors, resistors, solar panel, a digital controlled motor, a tiny little speaker, Android uh, tablets. Android tablets from Google, Nexus uh, Nexus 7 tablets, and then the remote control car and the, uh, the OpenXC car interface from Ford. Plug that in under the dash and uh, that starts streaming data from the car. All sorts of good stuff. Let's see what comes out of it today. I'm trying to convert the data that floats around the car into sound. So when you drive, you're basically composing music. We're building a real-time cost uh, meter for driving, and the idea is it will count up exactly what the cost of your trip is. We'll be able to replay on a very small scale the course that a car would have driven in the day. We take the car inputs and visualize them with watercolors. What we're hoping to achieve today is just a collection of really great ideas. We want to offer people the ability to work with OpenXC, work with this you know, set of tools, and give us some easily demonstrable, clever ideas that bring together data and driving so that we can take them out to the car, build them into the car, and show the world what we can really do. What makes a good hacker is a sense of curiosity about the world and about systems in particular, and a willingness not to let other people tell you how you're supposed to explore them. From what I see here, I think that we have an outstanding group of hackers. These are people who have just been handed something unique, and they immediately got to work on a set of interesting and extraordinarily inventive projects. Not things which just kind of turn it into a web app, or which kind of make something pretty, but really get to the heart of what, of what sort of extracting meaning from data is about. So we're, what we're trying to do is reverse engineer part of the vehicle interface um, so we can hook that directly up to an Arduino and create an Arduino module, I guess, to parse the vehicle data and then ultimately control super awesome Sylvia's watercolor robot to paint like abstract art of vehicle data. It's going really well. There's, uh, people are deploying stuff to the car. Um, I'm really impressed by how, how far people have gotten. I'm really, truly impressed. Just tying in the, the data from the actual Ford cars to be able to power those cars that we have set up to be run by the Arduinos. The truth is that hackathons are hard work and we're all pretty wiped out. I mean, it's the end of a very long day and a lot of work has gone into making this event as successful as it's been. It's hard not to remain energized and fired up when you see all of these smart, interesting, adventurous hackers and developers doing interesting things with, with open source data. The one thing about today's event that people should know that they might not know is really what kind of creative, insane, or brilliant or all of the above ideas and things that people will actually do and make just given an opportunity to do it. Where is Smart Brain? Yes. I feel great. When I was a kid, my friends thought I was weird, and now I know as an adult I'm still weird. Winning prizes is always really cool, but I think we're, we're here 
more just to, to play around with new technologies and try out new things. It's really more about that than even winning the prizes. Yeah, I mean, well, like, did they really get that right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> it was great. It was, like, great. It was we, cool. We yeah. thought everything that had been done out there was, was was really great, and that you know, it was ours was nothing compared to that. I was yeah. like, oh, we, oh, we kind of got to do something. We didn't really have a point or a purpose. It was kind of just use yeah. the data for something. Today went really well. I mean, the quality of the projects that people made in eight hours is like incredible. This is the kind of thing like you would see at an engineering company that would take like months to develop. I'm, I just couldn't be happier.